Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know that it's been, I don't know how many months since my last video. I was supposedly going to be vlogging my pregnancy and all that, but I did not. I'm already 39 weeks, so in about a week, I should be giving birth. Hopefully, I don't pass my due date, and if I don't, oh well. But yeah, I am 39 weeks. And I'm just waiting to see when she is coming and I'm gonna do a little um, update so I am 39 weeks and so when I'm filming this video I'm 39 weeks I'm not sure when I'm gonna upload it upload this but every Sunday I turn the week so I am 39 weeks so I'm just waiting for baby to come Hopefully she doesn't pass her due date, and if she does, oh well. But I'm uh, hoping, hoping that she comes um, this week. Um, what else? Uh, you can see. I don't know. Let me show you guys my belly because I feel like I didn't even get big, but my you'll see how my belly looks like. So here is my belly. My belly has dropped a lot. As you can see I'm just waiting for her to come so hopefully soon and here I'm with my my birth ball so yeah I'm just waiting for her to come I'm always in my birth ball doing you know those exercises I've been walking a lot I've been you know doing all the things that you're supposed to do to help you induce like I don't want to induce labor but I just want you know just to help her out um, I've been getting my cervix checked ever since I was 37 weeks and these past two um, appointments I've gone and I have not been like I'm not even dilated or nothing so this Tuesday I have an appointment and hopefully I'm hoping hoping that I am at least a centimeter dilated or something um, I'm just hoping but if not oh well we'll see what I'll what I'll see what my options are so anyway let's get back to why I'm making this video in this video I'm gonna be doing a what's in baby's hospital bag so I'm gonna be showing you all the things that I packed for her to be honest I've seen a, a, a bunch of videos like a what to take and stuff so hopefully I didn't take unnecessary things and if i did well her diaper bag's pretty big so um no pasa nada if i don't use them you know so yeah let's get on with this video this is her diaper bag it's pink and i really wanted a diaper bag that didn't look like a diaper bag and like i don't know how to explain it i wanted a diaper bag that looked like that did not look like a diaper bag but i also like wanted a diaper bag and I wanted it to be fashionable so I got this it's um it looks like a like a bag and it has a little like to carry it also it came with um if you want to carry it like a bag like a bag so it comes with this um I bought this at Walmart but not in you can't find them you can't find it in the stores yeah, I ordered it online. I'm super picky with everything, like with everything, everything. Um, so I did, I did struggle a little bit to find a diaper bag because like I said, I didn't want it to look like a diaper bag, like those ugly diaper bags. I wanted it to look cute. So here you have pockets to put stuff in. You have two pockets. Um, you have a pocket here let's get in so you just open it it's actually super spacious like as you can see you go like that so what i packed let's put it down okay so the first thing that i have in my bag is six diapers i know that in the hospital you usually like you don't need to bring anything because the hospital gives you everything but i just really wanted to take some because i mean 
at the end of the day, I'm going to put diapers there. So I'd rather just have them there and not worry about putting diapers because I, when it's like time to leave or stuff, I will forget. So I'd rather just have them there. I mean, it's her diaper bag. I'm going to have to put diapers in there. So I'll just put them there the una vez. So I got, I put three newborns because just in case, I'm not sure how much she's going to weigh. Supposedly, like, um, the times that I've gone to my appointments, she is measuring about, like, not that big she's measuring like six to seven pounds right now so i packed three newborn diapers and i also packed three um size one diapers so this is that's what i have in my diaper bag and then the second thing a pack of like travel wipes like i said i know that they gave you everything but I'm just putting them de una vez because I'm going to have to put them in my diaper bag whenever I'm leaving. So I just have it de una vez ahí. Also, also I have this little, um, this little case that you have like all your, like, let's see like first aid kit. So I have, here I just have her combs like i guess toothbrush just alcohol disinfectants um thermometer for quitarle la los mocos and that's where i have it all here i actually got the same i actually got another same one um so i have double so i'm what i'm um planning to do is keeping this in my bag and the other one i'm gonna have it here at my house just in case so i won't be like taking it out and stuff like that so I have like her like this is like a first aid kit and all that. So I have this for clothing. Um, I don't even know what to pack. Like I really wanted to see how cute, but at the same time I want her to be comfortable because she's a baby, you know. But so, so I'm gonna be showing her the outfits that I packed for her. I don't know if I overpacked, but I just I'm not sure like what size she's gonna come out. So I just packed variety and I I mean I don't even know what to choose. I think all the clothes are so cute. So I packed four different outfits. So for onesies, um this is this is newborn side, so I got her so I packed this um onesie. It's a unicorn with this little um with this little headband so it could match with it. So I packed her this and this is a newborn newborn size so i got her so i packed her this one also i packed her this this is actually one of my favorite ones i don't know why i just love it so much this was actually a gift from my cuñada so i also packed her this one um this is a uh, this is three months i feel like this is um i don't think she's gonna come, like come i don't think she's gonna come out this huge but just I'm just packing it just in case really i really love this um onesie and i can't wait to put it on her and it comes with its little matching hat so that's another piece of clothes that i'm taking i don't even know what i'm gonna put her on also i got i also packed another onesie also like i don't know if it's gonna be cold I don't even think it's gonna be cold, but Texas is crazy. Um, so I packed in also onesies. Another onesie that I'm taking is this one. Look how cute this is. This is a zero to three months, and this looks huge. But like I said, just in case if she comes up a little big. So I packed her in this onesie with, I'm still not sure, so I'm just take, gonna take both um, with this headband. With this headband, right? or with this hat i'm still not sure it's because i freaking love um hats that have like little bows and also um they say that baby should be in hats so that's why i'm packing both just in case so i got this onesie too the next outfit that i packed for her is this um plain onesie this is a newborn size so I'm packing this really plain onesie with these um, bottom shorts. This is 
um zero to three months i did not have i did not buy um i didn't buy a newborn size white um little bottoms so this one has to do so hopefully it fits or if not it's gonna fit huge i mean i'm not really a top person and neither is my fiance so i don't think she's gonna come out really long but it's because i just couldn't resist so it's gonna be like this let me see if i can so it's gonna be this so it's gonna be this this with this i freaking love this hat so the, re the reason why i'm packing this on plain um onesie is because look at the hat how pretty it is it's butterflies and i think this is the only thing that matched so it's this is her little outfit and i'm hoping i actually really want to take her home with this outfit and just because of the hat look it's just i freaking love it and i don't know why like the little buns it reminds me of me because i used to always always wear buns so i want her to also wear a little bun so this is her little outfit and i'm so like this is another reason why i love it i really want to take her home with this but we'll see so that's that's the fourth outfit and like i said this is newborn size so this is so that's what i'm taking that's also i'm bringing um little i don't know what's it called for her little hands so I just bought one pair of these. Also, two pairs of socks, just in case if, I don't know if I'm gonna use them. So two pairs of socks. For clothing, that's pretty much it. So next, I'm gonna show you um, her little blankets. So I am bringing her a swaddle for her, like to swaddle her when we come home. So I, bought her, I got her this swaddle for like, cause babies are always cold. So I got her, so I brought her this um, blanket, it's like a fuzzy blanket. So like I said, to take her home with. I just brought one blanket because in the hospital, they're always, well, what I've seen is that they're always um, in their, and they're like, you know, like they just have them swaddled. So I'm just taking this just in case um whenever we're coming home the last thing that i'm the last thing that i'm taking is this um car seat what's it called it's like a car seat like look one is in the porta bebe like to cover them so i'm taking this and this is actually like multi-purpose use i think i i still have the thing so this is like a multi car seat canopy so you can use this as like as a grocery card cover a car seat nursing cover or a high chair cover so i really really wanted one of these because since um she's gonna be born like she's she's gonna be born like in the win fall winter and i really want her to be like, i don't want her to get sick or anything so i bought one of these to cover her car seat and also like if it's not even cold or anything like because texas weather over here in mccallion is like freaking crazy so i could use this in the winter in the summer but i'm not frio and it's just to cover her up and i since since i didn't find a unicorn one actually i just got her flowers and i really love this and i'm so happy that i bought this because i really wanted to buy one of these so i bought her that and i'm taking it I'm taking it in my in her um, hospital bag, so I won't forget to pack it. Cause I wanna, I'm gonna take this. Uh, I'm gonna put this whenever we leave the hospital. And that's basically what I packed for her. So I'm gonna show you how the diaper bag looks inside. I really wanted, um, I really wanted the diaper bag to be not that big, but not that small, so I could pack a lot of things. Cause newborns, um, like newborns you pack a lot of stuff so i like how i like how it, it expands and look how huge it is like so so in the sides you have um to put the bottles you have a pocket here so you can put more things 
Um, also, what I really, really loved about this diaper bag that it came with a changing pad. So whenever I'm out, like I'm not planning to go out, but if I have to go out with families or stuff, I have a changing pad to change her. And I've seen that in some diaper bags that they don't like these kinds of diaper bags don't come with this. And I'm, that's what it sold me the most. That I mean, first of all, it's cute and it was super cheap. It was like. 25 23 bucks um and i like that they came with a changing pad so whenever i'm out of stuff i don't have to change her like you know and you know and like in like you know you know what i mean like that i can change her here and it's really huge and look how i, like, I just really love that it came with a a changing um cover mat so I like how deep it is. Like look how big it is. And I it doesn't even look that big. So yeah, that's her hospital bag. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you really, really enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you guys want a hospital bag. A what's in my hospital bag, like my hospital bag. To be honest, I didn't want to do one because I don't know what to pack at all. Like, like what should I take? Like someone please tell me in the comments down below like what should i take or what am i missing in her hospital bag also like what should i take in my hospital bag because to be honest i don't have no idea what to take and i'm 39 weeks and i barely started packing and i have like the basic ones like you know like whatever you need but like what else should i take like i don't know what to take i'm so lost and i am a person that i like to be prepared and like just doing this like i guess stress but yeah i just don't want to be like oh uh i missed this and also since i am um since i am giving birth um during a uh, pandemic it's not like oh if i forgot something like oh i can go home and bring it um i can because he can go out and stuff so yeah guys let me know what i should bring in my hospital bag and also if you guys want a video of it I'll do a video, but I feel like it's going to be really simple because um, I just brought what I, like the basics and the things that I think I need. So yeah, guys, let me know if you guys want a video of that. And hopefully, I'm, I really, I'm not going to promise, but I really want to start doing more videos. I really want to start vlogging my, um, I really want to start vlogging my, my journey as a mom. I'm so excited and I can't wait for her to come. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.